Welcome everyone to another video. I'm excited to bring this video uh, in kind of the Swiss Army Knife version of taking care of the two meta Pokemon, uh, Lucario and Bastion. It is our friend Blaziken. Um, so Blaziken should have counter. Counter is going to be super effective against Lucario, against Bastion, against a bunch of ice Pokemon, against a bunch of steel Pokemon. I don't need to explain why you need to use counter. It's amazing. Um, it recommends here Stone Edge. No one's going to have Stone Edge. Like, ever, like I know um, some other YouTubers recommend that you, get, you should gotta get Stone Edge. You should. Um, but Stone Edge was only available basically for like 36 hours. And, and you had to catch enough Torchic and get enough candy and, and evolve it. And this was... Uh, extremely rare so no one's gonna no one's gonna have stone edge so i wouldn't worry too much about it you want to have brave bird and brave birds you know if you come in for the lucario switch and you have energy then you can hit brave bird on uh, on lucario for neutral damage it's probably gonna KO it it's gonna hit neutral damage on most pokemon uh, besides uh, steel only type pokemon obviously against bastion it's not gonna do very much damage and then here reckons focus blast you could run over heat um, depend on what variation you want. Focus Blast, I guess, uh, fighting hits, uh, super effective a lot in the meta. So, something you consider. Right now in the video, I, I recorded the battle portion for this. I, I was using Brave Bird Focus Blast. I was considering Overheat, mostly because of the mods that he was running. But a lot of times when you want Overheat, uh, Focus Blast is also very good. So, obviously, it has really good matchups against Malmetal. It has some tricky matchups with Melmetal um, as well, um, but it's good and useful. Um, and then against Steelix, against Lucario, against Dugong, against uh, Lapras is a little trickier because obviously it has access to Surf. Um, and then it gets countered by Marowak because um, obviously the Ghost Typing is going to double resist. And then um, Ho-Oh, Altaria... Uh, Charizard, uh, Bronzon. But let's take a look at a couple key matchups here. So against Lucario here, you'll see a Lucario, let's say a Shadow Ball instead. You'll see that you just need to shield. Um, okay, actually, let's put uh, Brave Bird here. So all you have to do is shield the one power up punch, uh, and then you have a, basically a full Brave Bird uh, ready to go. To, uh, to take out the, the next Pokemon or attack the next Pokemon or save it on a, on a switch in, etc, etc. So um, it takes care of, of Lucario and beats it um, in a no-shield scenario. It's even, uh, but in this case, it's advantageous to shield. That's why I call it a softer counter uh, versus Lucario versus uh, when you use Charizard. Uh, there's very limited windows where Lucario can win uh, given even energy and even shielding. And uh, then... If you go against Bastion, uh, you'll see here, uh, let's see, it runs Flamethrower, which is a standard set, that basically um, you probably don't need to run the Brave Bird here, to be honest, because um, it's only going to do 15 damage, and each of these counters do 11 damage. Uh, obviously, you would have to then, um, so you'll see it's even here, so you do have to run the shield here. And then here is actually probably a more appropriate scenario where you shield the Stone Edge. So if you do end up in a situation where it's, um, uh, and the Stone Edge is going to do, actually, let's look at no shields. I just want to see how much Stone Edge does. Stone Edge does do 76 damage, uh, and then each of these Smackdowns do do 10 damage. Uh, so if you end up in a scenario where you have the energy advantage and, and, um, and then you, and more Bastion, has a charge move ready for 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 Blaziken. Stone Edge is not going to knock it out, uh, but it can only take up to like four, probably five, depending on how good your IVs are on your Blaziken uh, Smackdowns. So take that into consideration um, when when you're going up against Bastion. So you can see there, Flygon outright beats um, uh, Bastion, where it basically has no chance against Flygon. Um, so it's a harder counter versus Blaziken and. Blaziken is a softer counter against Lucario and Bastion. So that's something you need to take consideration and to factor in. Do you want harder counters? I think that's something that sometimes people miss when they look at these charts. They look like, oh, okay, you know, Blaziken beats Lucario and Bastion. Okay, yeah, that matters. 
but there's also three Pokemon in the in the battle, right? You want to know how much how much health am, is my counter gonna have left to do damage on the next Pokemon, so I have that advantage in the battle. If it just barely beats it and squeaks by it, and the next Pokemon comes in and and just one shots in before it does any damage, yeah, you're gonna have the advantage of seeing their Pokemon, which is valuable. And useful, and I, I really like that information. You set your team properly; it could lead you to a win. Uh, but it's also not going to give you the energy and and um, health HP advantage. So you really got to factor that in and how you want to utilize it. Do you want the Swiss Army knife, or do you want the specialized knife for for each of these battles, or the specialized Pokemon, and or the generalist Pokemon? It depends on how you want to handle the meta. But take a look at the battles and tell me what you think, and uh, and I'll turn over the battle portion of the video. Welcome everyone to another video, or welcome to the battle portion of the video. We are going to be testing out Blaziken in this uh, meta. Um, let's see here. Let's try Blaziken as a lead. Uh, so Blaz Blaziken is my Lucario counter here. And uh, let's try something different. Mm. Yeah. Something like maybe Malmetal or maybe Flygon. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, Blaziken has, in this case, has a Brave Bird. Um, or has Counter, Brave Bird, and Focus Blast. I don't think you'll ever get to Focus Blast, though. So here, here's a good example. Um, so I do have to shield the Power Up Punch because I am going to be super effective. So this is like the ideal matchup for for blaziken i do have to shield this power punch though to survive but that's fine i'll have enough energy for this brave bird so i'm gonna brave bird whatever's coming in next i don't know why i don't have overheat actually <laughs> actually i probably should have overheat well i burnt the shield that's all i really wanted just get a few shots in Okay, great. I kind of wish I had a uh, Bastion now. Um, not a great situation for me here. Because obviously this Sky Attack's going to come. I should be able to hit these Power Up Punches. Uh, let's see here if I can hit two Power Up Punches. I could have baited the to the Shadow Wall. That would have been okay too. Um, let's see if I can get this power up punch. If I can, that'd be great. Oh man, I definitely can. And I'm screwed now. <laughs> yeah, that's this is not good for me at all. I'm obviously gonna finish it off with this dragon claw here. I could have loaded up a little bit more, but the energy trade off's not that great. So let's see what he has here. Ooh, a Lapras. I am done for, for sure. I'm just gonna go for this Earthquake here. Nope, nope. <laughs> okay. Well, Blaziken did well. Maybe Flygon and, um, and Bass, uh, Flygon and Lucario together was not the optimal choice. Um, basically what I'm gonna do here is instead of what I normally run, uh, I'm gonna run with, um, well, if he uses Skarmory again, I'm kind of... Uh, if I had Overheat, maybe it would be a little bit better. Okay, let's see here. Let's go. Okay, this is an okay matchup. Um, like Flygon, obviously. Um, I expect a shield to come out of here. Nope, nope, I'm going to shield here. And then we're basically going to trade shields unless he wants to. Let's see here. We're going to hit this power up punch. He doesn't want to shield. I should be able to faint him before, hopefully. Yes, I can. Great. I'm going to power up punch whatever's coming in. Again, I don't have a great Skarmory counter here. I should uh, consider that. Um, I am going to shield here. <sighs> yeah. 
see if he shields here. He does. Okay, I'll get a few power-up punch shots here. Okay, great. And then I'm going to go Dragon Air here because I can't go Blaziken because obviously uh, hopefully I can feign him before he gets off this sky attack. I cannot. All right. I should survive though. And then let's see what he has left. Okay. Ooh, shoo. I actually kind of have to get out of here. Okay, let's see if I survive this. Oh, I do. Okay, great. Awesome. And then Blaziken takes care of it. All right. Awesome. Okay, so you see Blaziken, you know, can be used interchangeably with, um, okay, let's try Blaziken. I really should TM it to overheat. I don't know why I don't have it overheat. It's kind of a dumb move by me. Um, I'm running a lot of Lucario, um, which I don't, I kind of really like Lucario though, so. Uh, yeah, let's run this lineup. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, let's see where he comes here. Dragon Air. Well, so this is a terrible matchup here. So I am just going to get a few shots in. And then I'm going to, oh, I'm going to switch to Bastion here. Um, not, uh, Terrible Aquatel, even though it's super effective, won't do a lot of damage here. And then he's like enticed to stay in, even though I'm like doing a lot of damage here because he thinks that like Aquatel is super effective, which it is. Obviously, it is. So it's gonna do a decent amount of damage here. So I'm gonna just stone it here. I could have just, um, oh, okay. I was hoping that would be the case here. So we'll take this here. I'm not going to shield here. I should be able to survive it. Just barely though. Yep. And then take him out. Okay, he goes Lucario. Great. I'm going to go. He's going to burn a shield here. Okay. Mm. I'm not going to burn a shield here. I might have too many shields at the end. Especially Lucario is really squishy. So let's see what he has. Unless he has a hard counter here. Okay. He has Skarmory here. I'm going to power up punch the first one. Time here. And then the second time I'm going to Shadow Ball. I probably should have just Shadow Balled, but it's okay. I should be able to safely get to this Shadow Ball, though. I'm not worried here. No, that's kind of close, but should be good here. Actually, didn't even need it. <laughs> to be honest, this, uh, it's crazy. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's keep going. Um, and I like the potential of this lineup, maybe not with Flygon. He's running a lot of Skarmory, which is like not typical, but that's okay. We'll adapt, right? We gotta see all sorts of things when we're playing this meta, so. Okay, oh, man, not a great matchup. If I had Stone Edge, this would be good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shield here, Surf. 
probably didn't need the shield there. I'm not sure if he's running Ice Shard or Frost Breath. I never really pay attention. We'll see if the Surf comes. Let's see what he's gonna come with. Obviously Lucario here. Let's see if he shields this. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay, power up punch is awesome for me. Obviously, he was worried that I was going to get another rock slide off, right? And then I, uh, I come back into Blaze again. Take him out. I'm sure he's going to come back with Lapras here. Ooh, it comes back with Charizard, all right? Oh, man. <laughs> I really got to take out this Charizard. He has uh, one shield left, all right? I'm going to Lucario here. And then I should be able to take it out with counters here. I could have just stayed Blaziken. But, you know, style points, I guess. Even though this video is on Blaziken. Okay. So some good lucks there. Okay, let's try this lineup and then see how we do. I'm not sure he has a Bastion. I was hoping to see it. Um, Bastion's an interesting Pokemon to go up against to see what he goes with. Flygon here. So I like this matchup here. Obviously, he's uh, super effective with his mud shots, but um, it only does like a little bit of damage here. So. I am going to shield here because I want to preserve my um, Lucario as much as possible. I expect him to shield here. Yep. Because of what happened last time, which makes sense. And then I am going to shield here. And then I should be able to just take him out with power up on, uh, with counters here. And then I'll power up punch whatever's coming in next. Armory, all right, and then I should be able to get off another power up punch here. Ooh, I should just want Shadow Ball actually. <laughs> I don't, that's a dumb move by me. Oh well, live and learn. You live and learn. I should be able to get a good amount of counters off here, all right, and then um, Dragonair, I guess. Okay, let's see what he comes with. Next, he comes with Malmetal. I expect him to use a charge move here. And then I just gotta get low enough health that uh, the number of turns it takes for for um, Blaziken to faint it will be low. He goes Thunderbolt. Okay, all right, I'm gonna be able to almost finish it off here. With this Aqua Tail, I'm gonna switch. And then take him out with a counter. All right, please again, doing work. I should have overheat on mine. Um, I don't know why I don't, but it's quite all right. Okay, um, thank you for the battles. Um, hopefully, you guys got a good perspective on how useful Blaziken can be in the kingdom cup it's obviously one of those like uh, lucario counters um counters both lucario and uh, bastion uh, maybe not as hard as as flygon countering bastion or maybe not as hard as charizard countering lucario so it depends on you want flexibility or do you want dominance against one particular matchup so anyways i'll leave it there um if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see everyone in the next video